Hey Noah, when would I buy a four-wheel drive van? We get asked that a lot. The reality is if you're not living somewhere where you're going to be using four-wheel drive a lot on your van, it's really, uh, frankly, not worth it. You can expect a twenty to thirty thousand dollar premium on a four-wheel drive vehicle. You can expect a three to four mile per gallon loss in uh, mileage. So they're great, but you got to really make sure that you need them. Let me show you the difference between the two. So on my left here, we've got a four-wheel drive Sprinter van. It's got a suspension upgrade and a wheel upgrade. What we've gained is about three to four inches in height. We've managed to do a suspension upgrade, which both improves on-road and off-road performance. It stiffens things up on the road, gives you a little bit more travel, a little bit more clearance on uh, off-road applications. The reality, however, is this is still a van. This is not truly an off-road vehicle. It's a fire trail capable vehicle. Uh, anywhere where you'd be driving this thing, where you would be inclined to turn on four wheel drive to try and rock climb, you're in the wrong vehicle. For the odd Tahoe trip here and there, it's kind of nice. You got to make a decision for yourself if it's worth $30,000 to be able to push that button. On my right over here, we have a two wheel drive vehicle. You can see we've actually done a suspension upgrade and a wheel upgrade and tire upgrade to this as well. This is a rear wheel drive vehicle. We've lost those three or four inches of clearance, but for all intents and purposes, these are identical vans. Off-road improvement is not gonna be noticeable until there is that huge snowstorm. Uh, if you're going uh, off, off trail, off into the back country in Moab, you will notice a difference. Again, it's really up to you to decide if that's necessary for you. And then the last thing is the obvious aesthetics. I think we've actually done a really great job at getting this van to where it does have a little bit of a rugged off-road look. So if aesthetics are the most important thing to you, by all means, buy a four-wheel drive. But from a capability standpoint, it's negligible.